Hello everyone. Welcome to the presentation. Today we are going to discuss about digital PCR. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and click on the bell icon to get notified. So what is digital PCR? Digital PCR is an alternate method for real-time PCR. It is similar to real-time PCR with certain dif differences in the way the sample is quantified. Digital PCR mostly is an endpoint detection method whereas in real-time PCR the sample is detected in real-time. So you can see the amplification plot as in when the amplification occurs. But whereas in uh, digital PCR the detection is at the end of the PCR reaction. Both uh, digital PCR and real-time PCR more or less uses the similar kind of master mixes or the same master mix and the detection strategy is also similar using the probe based chemistry or the cyber green based chemistry. The digital PCR works by partitioning the master mix. The master mix having nucleic acid is partitioned and amplified. Typically 20,000 to 1 lakh partitions are made and each of the reaction nanoliter volume reactions are PCR amplified. The reaction analysis is done by applying Poisson distribution. Since it is an endpoint detection method, each reaction will gives yes or no answer. So S indicates a number 1 and no indicates an answer of 0. So since uh, the number we are dealing is binary, that is the reason this kind of PCR is called as the digital PCR. So mainly the master mix is distributed into nanoliter volume reactions. So that's why it's called as the partitioning. And then each of the reaction droplet or the reaction well is amplified and the fluorescence generated from that reaction is quantified to give an absolute number. Once the sample is distributed or partitioned, each of the reaction will have a close to 1 nanoliter or less than that of the volume. In traditional PCR, the whole reaction mixture fluorescence is taken or the fluorescence measurement of the entire reaction mixture is taken. But whereas in uh, digital PCR, the master mix is partitioned into numerous or thousands of small droplet reaction volumes and the fluorescent signal from each one of these is captured and analyzed. So what happens uh, when the sample is partitioned is that some of the reaction mixture will get DNA, some will not get. So some will be empty droplets, some will have DNA. So as the number of partitions increases, the DNA also will get further diluted so that some of the droplets will have a single molecule of DNA and some will not have any DNA. And each of these will be amplified and those who have ha those droplets which are having the DNA molecule will get amplified and the fluorescent signal will be obtained from those droplets. And those droplets are called as positives and one without the DNA or there is no signal then th that is called as the negative reactions. By measuring the positives and uh, negatives, number of positives and negatives, we can get an absolute quantification of the original sample. This is the basic principle of digital PCR. As mentioned earlier, the partitioning can be done by generating droplets or by forcing the master mix to a nanofluidic chip. So example for uh, droplet generation, uh, digital PCR systems include from uh, BioRad and uh, Raindance and um, Thermo Studio uses a nanofluidic chip and even the Biomark from Fluidime is also using partition by nanofluidic chip. So what are the advantages of uh, using digital PCR? The main advantage is that uh, there is no need to rely on reference or standard for quantification. As we do more number of replicates in digital PCR, this increases the precision. Digital PCR also has shown to give high tolerance to inhibitors and this can also detect even the small fold changes. So it is very minute change in the amplification levels can also be detected using digital PCR. In certain cases, it is more sensitive compared to the real-time PCR, especially for the low load samples, low viral load or low copy number samples. It is very useful to use digital PCR than the real-time PCR. It gives more sensitive results. Here are the some of the applications of using digital PCR. For uh, rare mutation detection, it is very useful. As you all know that uh, 
uh, in certain types of cancer the somatic mutations which are present will be in minute amount in vast majority of the wild type dna samples so the mutated regions or the mutated sequence will be 0.1 percentage or less and the wild type dna sequence will be 99.9 percentage so to detect the rare mutation by using real time pcr is very difficult because of the competition from the wild type dna but whereas in uh, digital pcr since we partition each one of these droplet will get one or two molecules of dna so there is no competition between wild type and the mutant so the mutant can be successfully amplified in digital pcr it is also useful in uh, detection of uh, gmo and very useful in absolute quantification which is not possible it is possible but with great difficulty in real time uh, qpcr system but absolute quantification can be achieved fairly easily in uh, digital pcr and it is also useful in uh, gene expression analysis and also for quantification of next generation sequencing libraries so these are some of the applications of digital pcr here are the different uh, instruments available in the market for performing digital pcr there is con studio and then one from biorad and rain dance and fluidam and uh, other systems available for the digital pcr hope you are clear with the uh, topic and the introduction on to the digital pcr if you like the video please press the like button and share it with your friends thank you